What's good, everybody? It's your boy Mega. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at um the world's scariest pranks. I myself am not a fan of pranks, cause heart attacks and shit, brother. I'm telling you, bro, somebody's gonna die due to a prank one day. And yeah, before we start the video, be sure to like, share, subscribe. Please like. These are the scariest pranks in the world. Consider yourself lucky you're not this person or this person mm. or you see where I'm going with this. With so many people <laughs> terrified of elevators, it seems like a pretty obvious place to stage a prank. But this one really did get creative. Instead of doing something obvious, like pretending the elevator was stuck, this Japanese show got a little creative. The producer escorts their victim to the elevator, but the second they step inside, this happens. That's definitely something you can never prepare for. Bro, bro, what if midway as you're falling, nigga just gets a heart attack? Like, they're like, oh, raw, this is the end. And then, why would you? It's such a street drop as well. And if that wasn't enough of a shock, they then find themselves on an underground slide covered in some kind of mysterious goo. New f <laughs> mysterious goo, yeah. I'm choking, it's a show. Fear unlocked anyone? These tourists in China probably thought that walking I've seen this, this glass bridge was scary enough on its own. They clearly had no idea what was in store for them. In hindsight, Bro. I'm sure you know it's a prank, but I can't even imagine what I'd be thinking if that were happening to me. Take a look at this guy who was just seconds away from losing his iPad. <laughs> Can we be honest? How stupid is he, bro? Let's let's just wheel that back. Nah, nah, look at this. This guy who was just seconds away from losing his iPad. So the first thing that he thought to do was to throw his iPad off the bro. How stupid? Nah, bro. I feel like that's the first thing that we all try to say, bro. Do try to. And it got worse. This amazing illusion by placing real shards of glass and video screens underneath the glass floor and topped it all off with sound effects to make it seem extra real. I freak out. Bro. Funny freak or cruel? Out. <laughs> I'll leave you to be the judge of that. Picture this you're sitting in an empty office, just waiting around for something to happen. Then suddenly the entire desk slides open. What do you do? I run, bro. Some I'm would black. Make a run for the exit as quickly <laughs> Thank as possible. Thank you. These people, on the other hand, made the mistake of being curious enough to stay and look. That's exactly what the pranksters wanted. Before they Is knew what phone? was happening, they had a face full of cream. It looks like it got everywhere too. That guy must have been glad he was wearing glasses, although he doesn't seem very happy about any of it. In the old days, all you needed for a good prank was a telephone, but those were simpler times. If you want to execute a really great prank now, you probably need to look into purchasing an extremely realistic dinosaur costume. I'm not sure if I'd be scared of this, to be honest. Surely it's like a in the moment type of thing, but like if I see a dinosaur in a hallway, would I be scared? As a black man, I would run. Sure, that's going to be pretty expensive, but there's one big benefit to a moving dinosaur. Okay, <laughs> nah, fam, fam, the legs, bro, the legs. I, terrifying you can see the legs, bro. Everyone, even though dinosaurs have been extinct for millions of years, there's just something unsettling about a prehistoric beast chasing us down a corridor. Yep, I'm and sure the cameraman would agree. Maybe cornering yourself on the ground isn't the smartest move either. That's a mad scene. There's always more than That's one way to do something. But the choice usually comes down to what you're really trying to achieve. For example, if you wanted to terrify someone in an elevator, you could just have the whole floor open up and eat them. But that wouldn't sell very many TVs. What LG wanted to do instead was make it look like the floor of the elevator was falling away. You know, to prove how good their TVs are. Ironically, some victims oh. have tried to find a safe tile to stand on, sometimes scrambling to the other end of the elevator. <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't That's need sick. to experience that this is for myself. Sick. If you've ever watched The Ring, then you'll know just how terrifying it is. The movie creators put together the perfect set for a scary prank. Just when their customers least expected it, the screen pulled up without them noticing, leaving a gap for the actress to crawl out and scare the life out of I the unsuspecting freak victims. Out, bro. Oh, my God. oh my God, run, bro. Honestly, I think those people handled that quite well. Well, most of them anyway. Fam, I'm just saying all these white niggas just stay, bro. The black dudes just, bro. 
Imagine you're a technology company. What's the best way to prove that your TVs have the highest quality screens on the market? LG's headquarters in Chile came up with an ingenious joke. They gathered people for a job interview. I've seen this on TikTok. The office with hidden I've cameras seen this. and set up one of their TVs so it looked like a window. Job interviews are stressful enough. They're far worse when a meteor suddenly appears. Most of them took it well, except for Oh wait, can we go back though? You see this part when it just goes like, like the room just goes dark. I freak out, bro. <laughs> I'd be dead, bro. I'd be dead. I'd be dead. I'd be dead. Most of them took it well, except for that one guy. I think I'm on his side though. Some people really know how to create drama. But the TNT network might have just overshadowed every other drama queen on the face of the earth. In 2013, the company erected a suspiciously large button in Belgium, inviting unsuspecting people to push to add drama. Some people hey, this kind of reminds me of that. Remember regular show, the point where they put um, a big red button in the middle of the park. Some brave and curious people press the button. Mm -hmm. Once that happens, all heck breaks loose. With staged fights and gunfire breaking out in the town, bikini babes on motorcycles tore up the street and anarchy erupted. That's sick. Nah, that's sick. The best part of the video is the reactions of those who set it off. Participants look around stunned as the action unfolds, trying to come to terms with the fact they caused it all to happen. This prank show wanted to see what would happen if they glued people to the floor. Imagine, like there you traps. are just minding your own business. One minute you're getting along with your day, the next you're stuck to the ground. But there's more than one way to achieve a sticky floor prank. Plan A is to trap oh. ordinary people on the street as they go about their day. Then there's the more extreme method. Place a tray of Sticky goo behind a closed door and just wait for the next victim. The highlights Did his face the previous stuck. victim sitting on the sofa covered in goo. <laughs> He's so pissed. He's so pissed, bro. <laughs> goo. He didn't even try to warn him. Here's oh. something you almost never think about. Drinking fountains. Sure, they're a handy thing to have around, but... they're not exactly going to take up a lot of space in your thoughts. At least not until something like this happens to you. Yeet. There it is. This That's prank show set power, up a drinking you know. fountain with a twist. Why is she still trying? To catch unsuspecting people by surprise, and it definitely worked. I don't know if you've ever had water sprayed up your nose at high pressure, but it's definitely not All pleasant. The makeup I wouldn't go and near whatnot. that fountain again, but these people are clearly a little braver than me. Most of them go in for another try. It doesn't seem worth it, but you've got to admire their dedication. The Indiana Jones films are iconic. They're a part of our culture, but even in iconic films like that, there are moments that stand out and take a life of their own. You probably already know where I'm going with this. This girl got to reenact that iconic moment, whether she wanted to or not. Honestly, it really does look genuinely frightening, especially since that's the last thing you expect when walking down a corridor. At least they were kind enough to give her something soft to land on. Even in a world of clever pranks, some are just a little more intelligent than others. The creators of the Invisible Man movie obviously know how to scare people, but it's quite different to execute that in real life. As part of their press, they decided they were going to give journalists a taste of what it would be like to really encounter the invisible man. Let's just say it wasn't the kind of interview they were expecting. Man. Oh my god. Whoa. They rigged the interview room to make it look like someone invisible was making things move. The grand finale was a clever reveal of the invisible man standing up behind the curtain. The people who stayed in the room deserve a medal. That's crazy, bro. So, you're a yogurt company that needs to get an advertisement done. What's the best way to get people to eat yogurt? With a bear, apparently. Chobani decided they'd recreate their famous bear-centered Super Bowl commercial by setting a bear loose in New York City. All right, not quite. They actually it, unleashed it a man fake. in an animatronic bear suit onto the streets to frighten unsuspecting members of the public. And it no, worked. I'd freak, okay, he looks clapped. I'd freak out, I'd freak out, I'd freak out. The bear wreaked a bit of havoc. The only people that seemed more confused than scared were passing children. I guess they just don't understand perfectly good advertising. Stupid though. Well, that's about it.